Hello, wonderful humans. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I am filming a response video to Easy's video regarding religion and faith. He made a video, if you look back on our channel, a couple of videos back, he spoke about faith and how to um, exercise your faith, um, sort of what the Bible says in regards to um, practicing religion and stuff. I found it very interesting and I wrote a little response on my little sheet of paper. Anywho, uh, the first fir bleh, bleh, the first quote he said is, this is what's in the Bible. So be still and know I am exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in this earth. So this is something uh, that's in the Bible, a quote in the Bible. And um, Easy was talking about how in, in this particular quote, it's talking about being still, being still in faith, being still in religion, um, so does that imply that you don't do things? Does that imply that you're not active? You're not an active seeker. You're still, you kind of sit still within God. You meditate on God. You stop, you think, you reflect and you reflect on the words you read and you reflect on, on the Bible and stuff. Um, I found that very interesting because I think um, Easy was talking about that in terms of like meditating, being still and 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 like um really absorbing the message of the words which i agree with i think it it did give me that sort of vibe as well like a meditative quality being still in religion you know no i'm exalted among the nations i will be exalted in this earth like sooner or later you know i will be exalted everyone will be believers and blah 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 and yeah now you know the jazz but i actually interpreted it differently i think um be still is kind of like be firm i don't think of being still as being physically still so much but being very grounded in what you believe in being a firm believer because when i thought think of the word like be still i'm thinking of like a still rock like a mountain you know like firmly rooted in the ground so it doesn't matter how many hurricanes you know how how much the ocean's wave like hits against that that mountain that rock it doesn't move it's so strong you know the rock is stronger than the water the water's fluid it moves life moves life you know goes through all its motions but the rock is firm so i think it says even in the drama of life be firm within yourself firm in your religion firm in your belief in god that's what i interpreted it as the next bit go into the world and preach the gospel well yeah then if you think about it, that contradicts the previous one. If we're, if we're looking at it in terms of it being meditative, like be still, like don't do anything, just be still, be like the Buddha, <laughs> but go into the world and preach the gospel. So clearly it means, yes, enjoy that quiet time with God. Like when you pray, it's very meditative. So I think it means be still and be grounded, be strong in your heart, in your religion, in your soul. But go out there and preach the word, you know, spread that joy, spread that certainty, spread that solidity. Because in life, people are looking for something to hold on to, right? So people are looking for something just. So I think that's what it means is just give people like hope. The last bit, pray and wait expectantly before God. And I think that goes with the whole like, oh, you know, if you pray, God will hear you. You know, sooner or later, God will give you what you wanted to. You just have to be patient, and God loves the patient. It's in the, uh, in the Quran as well. Um, God, I think it was on the lines of God doesn't want to give you what you want immediately. God wants to test you. It's about testing. You know, because when people suffer, that's when they actually turn to God. When they're having a great day, no one really cares, right? They're not praying. They're missing Sundays. Maybe, maybe some people in their happiness are still very religious too, but in what i see and you know just general general idea is people turn to god when they need god you know um when they're struggling they pray when they're in a you know hard they're going through hardships and stuff that's when people turn to god so i think waiting expectantly is like knowing god will deliver what you pray because you're opening your heart to god and you're and you're giving god that praise that worship so waiting expectantly implies it's going to happen however i don't believe in life you can just sit around and just wait you know 
Like, seriously, you can't just sit around and wait in life. You have to be an active participant in your own life. You can't just sit there and wait for things to happen. You know? Like, God will help you. Sure, the universe will will open its doors and things will manifest and things will happen. But for the love of God, you can't just sit there. You have to do stuff. You know? Anyway, the next bit, examine scripture every day. That's what Paul said. Um, Paul said it's true to examine scripture every day. So it implies in religion, you should examine, you should question, you should read, you should research. So it implies these three things, all in all. Being still in religion, being firm in your faith, meditating on the words of God, depending, you know, and this goes across. It doesn't matter what book you're studying, whether it's the Torah, the Quran, the Bible, whichever philosophy, is to be still, being firm, being grounded in your beliefs. And also questioning it too, questioning in it, questioning it, studying it, reading books, just having discussions, furthering your knowledge, those two. And then, yeah, you know, preach the word, spread the joy and wait expectantly before God. But again, within balance, within reason, you have to be an active participant in your life. So that's my take on what Easy has said. Let us know what you think.